What we wanted to do was get, uh, again, our IQ students, our B coursers, the best possible training we could, especially in regards to uh, what we used to call the capstone of their training, which is uh, the final several sorties where we want to try to give them a, a high-end scenario with advanced threats, uh, high-end threats, and expose them to that and allow them to, to tackle that problem. I'm First Lieutenant Kirsten Eisman. I'm an F-35 student pilot, and I've been flying the F-35 for about six months. The instructors so far have been amazing. We're all kind of learning the airspace, the local regulations at the same time, and they've been putting in so many extra hours than we have even to make sure that we get the best training possible out of this trip. From my time in the 58th, I've never enjoyed going to work more. They're the best people to work with. They're the most dedicated people to their job, and their job is making me and my classmates effective wingmen. They take great pride in that. Hate to let them down and uh, love coming to work with them every day. The most challenging aspect of offensive counter air training uh, is just information processing. You're taking in a lot of a new environment with a lot more airplanes in the air at one time. Prioritizing safety, obviously, prioritizing kind of what my roles and responsibilities are. Understanding what I need to be doing at each moment in the fight. So it's a very dynamic environment. Uh, you're battling guys in the air, there's a threat on the ground, there's a target that needs to be struck, there's someone that needs to be protected. The uh, opportunity to really expand our exposure to the threat environment has been really amazing. All the execution uh, that we've trained to so far has been piecemeal and now we're putting it all together, not only within our own force ship, but within other Blue Air Force ships. Everybody doing their own thing for one mission. They're responsible really for their own uh, own cockpit and their own their own safety and uh, their own tactics to a certain point, and that is the standard now in fifth gen. Um, so because of that, the learning curve has to be significantly steeper than it was. Understandably, that can be difficult, but uh, with this current class of students, uh, they've definitely gotten there and continue to get there and are working hard to meet the fifth gen standard. I think that we're going to be as well-prepared F-35 combat-capable wingmen as the United States Air Force could ask for.